What's up though 47 brethren it is your boy Kid Rex here with another reaction video and today I am going to be reacting to Ruby Volume 2 Chapter 8 Field Trip. Make sure if you want to see more of these Ruby episodes you go to Rooster Chief's Rooster Teeth's channel and subscribe to him. Also, um, most of the votes for what I should do for 5k are basically for the Warhead Challenge. So, we're gonna go with Warhead Challenge. Now, it's gonna be a modified version of the Warhead Challenge because the original one was. He's kind of fucked, but you know, it's kind of messed up. But you know, it, I, I, don't worry, your boy is going to modify it to where it won't be too bad. You know what I'm saying? But hey, um, but yeah, uh, the link to the original video will be in the description. Uh, make sure you guys go look at my my AMV called Stay Up Naruto. The link to that will be at the end of this video. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So three. Two, one, start. And they were here. We are very much aware of that. Thank you, James. Fantastic. You're aware. Now, are we going to do something about it, or should we just stay the course and continue to ignore what's right in front of us? Come in. Oh, sorry it took so long. Someone accidentally hit all the buttons on the elevator on the way up here. It wasn't me. Hey, it wasn't her. Thank you for coming, Ruby. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Trust I'd feel better if my bad guy catching record wasn't 0 for 3. Okay, so that's the tone we're going for. Got it. Unfortunately. I feel it's appropriate to let you know that I think what you did last night is exactly what being a huntress is all about. You recognized a threat, you took action, and you did the very best you could. Thank yep. you, sir. Now, the general here has already informed us of the events that transpired last night. But now that you've rested, we were wondering if you had anything to add. Was anyone else with her? Did she look familiar to you at all? I... Uh, I don't know. She was wearing a mask. And she never said anything to me. But I know she fought with glass. I don't think that was her semblance, though. Her clothing lit up whenever she attacked. Save for the glass. She wore all black. That sounds like the woman I fought the night we met Ruby. She had black hair. dust into clothing is an age-old technique. It could have been anyone. Wait. You think this girl's connected to Torchwick and the White Fang? It's possible. But we still lack the required evidence to link the two together. Actually, That's I, I think I remember her saying something about a hideout or something in the southeast just outside the kingdom interesting i thought you said the intruder never thank you for your cooperation ruby why ah. don't you go and spend some time with your team you have a big day ahead of you anytime and miss rose please try and be discreet about this matter yes sir discreet sorry about me y'all Damn. <laughs> well, there we have it. We send as many troops as we can to the southeast. 
find out exactly what's going on and eradicate any forces that stand in our way. Why must your answer to everything involve a triumphant display of military bravado? You treat every situation like it's a contest of measuring... Linda! Well, he does. She's right. As much as I, too, would love to end this situation once and for all, we must remember that this may go beyond Vale, beyond Beacon. Yep. And if this truly is part of some master plan for which we know not the final move, we mustn't be so bold, nor can we risk the spread of panic. I have served you faithfully for years. Ah. But if you mean to tell me that your plan is to really hold the defenses and wait... It is not. You're a general, James. So tell me, when you prepare to go to war, which do you send in first? The flag bearer or the scouts? That was a risky move. No. Good question. I think you handled it well. I hope so. I'm sure everything will be all right, Ruby. Oh, I know what will cheer you up. What's that? I don't know yet. Dad sent it to us. I thought we could open it together. <laughs> what the hell is that? A yoga mat? Oh no, that what? A wolf? We got a dog in the can? He said a dog? In the mail? <laughs> dog in the oh, can? He does what? Stuff like this all the time. Your father or your How? dog? Are you telling me that this mangy, drooling mutt is going to live with us forever? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep it away from my belongings. Wow, wise. Okay. To the she just... Well, we can't exactly leave him here while we're gone for a week. Look, there's a letter. Dear girl, oh, I've got man. some of the she items that So I'm sending Dwight home to take care of. And close is all the food you should eat. And just... Love you both. Oh, yeah. She, she act, she's a cat. Park cat. What are supposed to do with that? Of course. Mm. Well, that settles it. Come on, girls. Dwight will be here when we get back. Oh, I miss you so much. We're going to be best friends. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how Blake just was like, man, fuck that, I'm out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quiet, quiet, please. <laughs> Professor Ospin would like to share a few words before we begin. Today we stand together, united, mistral. Atlas, Vacuo, Veil, the four kingdoms of Remnant. Mm. On this day, nearly 80 years ago, the largest war in recorded history came to an end. Mm. It was a war of ignorance, of greed, and of oppression. Yeah. A war that was about much more than where borders fell or who traded with whom, but about the very idea of individualism itself. We fought for countless reasons, one of which being the destruction of all forms of art and self-expression. And as you are well aware, that was something many could not stand for. Mm. As a result, those who opposed this tyranny began naming their children after one of the core aspects of art itself, color. Oh. It was their way to demonstrate that not only would they refuse to tolerate this oppression, but neither would the generations to come. And it was a trend that is held to this very day. Okay. We encourage individuality, expressionism, and unity through diversity. Gotcha. As I have said, today we stand together, united. But this bond cannot exist without effort. Which is why today, while the rest of the world celebrates peace, huntsmen and huntresses will work to uphold it. As first-year students, you will be tasked with shadowing a professional huntsman or huntress on a mission. Some of you may be taken out of the kingdom for several days. Others may work within the walls for the rest of the week. But no matter which path you choose, remember to be safe, remember your training, and remember to do your very best. Okay. Okay. This is perfect. All we have to do is shadow a huntsman working in the southeast. Yeah, we'll follow them around by day and give them the slip at night. Let's check search and destroy. Here we go. Quadrant 5 needs grim cleared out. Well, it's in the southeast. Sounds perfect. 
Wow. Wonderful. Any other ideas? We they can would nail ourselves that. there. Well, that's one option. Unfortunately, we determined that the concentration of Grimm was too extreme for first-year students. It seems that particular region is rather popular. In fact, I have the sneaking suspicion that the four of you will make your way there no matter which job you choose. <laughs> Whatever makes you say that? I'm still curious as to how you all found yourselves at the docks last semester. I'm interested to know how you really learned about a hideout in the southeast. Uh, and I certainly wonder why witnesses reported seeing robots and rose petals in a dance club sometime. Ago. They get around. Uh, they get around. Um, I doubt I'll ever find the exact answers I'm looking for. So, how about this? Instead of waiting for you all to break the rules, why don't we just bend them? Yeah. You know what? You a cool ass dude. Who offers milk and cookies? We won't let you down. Thank you, Professor. Do not thank me cool for this. Too. Teamwork and persistence have carried you far. But you must understand, the things that await you beyond the protection of the kingdom will not care. Yeah. Stay close to your huntsman at all times. And do exactly as he says. Don't die. He will be leading you on this mission. And he can have you sent back to Beacon. If he finds your skills to be unsatisfactory. Don't be ass. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but seriously. Good luck. But seriously, he, he basically saying don't be exactly ass. That was exactly uplifting. But it's the don't truth. Be trash. It's going to be tough, but I know we can do it. Hey, you got his back. Velvet, are you okay? Hey, I'm fine. Girl. I had Yatsuhashi to look out for me. Your mission was supposed to end a week ago. What happened? N nothing happened. It was just... There were just so many. Uh, oh, but don't worry. What? You first years are just shadowing Huntsman, so you should be fine. Right. I should go. Be safe, okay? We can do this. Mm. We've never backed down before, and we're not going to start now. Right. Besides, it won't only be us out there. We'll be fighting alongside a genuine huntsman. Yeah. Yep. Why, hello, girls. Who's ready to fight for their lives? Not this guy. That's, is that the dude? With, is that the coffee dude from um from Volume One? What was it Volume One? Yeah, the coffee dude. I, I, <sighs> well, that's kind of a bad choice, but hey, I'm not gonna say nothing until we see his abilities. You know, can't judge a book by his cover, but you know, yeah, <sighs> nobody thought of him, and they, they, they surely didn't think he was gonna be the one to, um, you know. They would. He didn't. They didn't think he was going to be one. They were going to shadow. You know what I'm saying? But ah, you got. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. Um. But again, not much. Not necessarily much in this episode. But we got a little bit more info. And now they're about to go out on a mission. All of them. Hopefully none of them get their ass beat. <laughs> but um, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Ruby. I'm sorry if I was kind of eating. You know what I'm saying? But um, your boy kind of hungry. But uh, <laughs> um, like I said again, um, I'm about to hit 5K, and most y'all voted Warhead Challenge. So, we're going to go with the Warhead Challenge, but it will be a modified version. So, you know, just, 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 just be on the lookout for that video. Make sure you go to Rooster Chief's channel, subscribe, look at more Ruby videos before I react to them. Uh, if you like my reaction to it, hit the like button. Um, and make sure to watch my MV, which will be at the end of this video. The link, well, the link will be at the end of this video, you know.
But <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace. My 47 brethren. I guess I gotta say this shit in Spanish Like girl, let them know who your man is Tried to use my manners, you didn't want a companion Fuck if I'm sexy, sex is what keep you guessing And I probably got you dressing when I'm not up in your section But you can find me in dimensions Trying to outsource the last girl to make my head spin Old chickens wanna act how the head spin Trust that your bitch is caught slipping for attention Then she gotta be wildin' with respect If you dominant with neck, get a diamond on your necklace She can't swallow the child and all affect me Knockin' them all down Domino with